Hello and welcome back to I've got 20 minutes before my family gets home and I have to clean more windows with some fungal stuff. And it's Sunday, so you can do whatever you want on a Sunday. So I thought we'd continue drawing this because 10 seconds ago I stopped drawing it. <laughs> but I thought we could um, just add some more detail and possibly color him in. I'm, I'm not sure because I'm colorblind, a little bit. I'm not so good with the purples and the reds and the blues. Um, but maybe, let's, well, let's give it a go. Okay, let's color in his little lines. So I think to color it in, we've got to make sure we've got some little thing. Remember, Sunday, you can do whatever you want on a Sunday. There we go. This is such a creepy thing. We give it a tooth. <laughs> That's cute. It's kind of like a little snake. Oops. Rub that out there, whoops. So the idea is what we're gonna do is we're gonna close up all these little gaps just along, all along the outside, these little shapes so that I can fill them easily because I don't have much time. Um, I mean, you know, not existentially. <laughs> I just mean until, until my family comes back with the exit mold and then I have to go and continue. Um, destroying the fungus in my house so that my family doesn't slowly get poisoned with neurotoxin from the fungal infection. Not like toxoplasmosis or anything like that, you know, like we're not going to start walking around with funguses sticking out of our heads like that TV show that I don't know that was based on a video game that I also don't know. Uh, what was it called? The Last of Us. The Last of Us. What is a Last of Us? I've never heard of a Last of Us other than that, that show. One good trick for drawing stones is adding just a little flat edge to the bottom of your stones and a couple of lines, and then it makes it look very much like it's sitting on the ground. <laughs> that, was a, that was a funny interlude. Anyway, let's continue. So we've got to go around here. Adding these stones there, perfect. Maybe another one. Now these foots aren't quite as detailed as I would like. I mean, I would like to just sit down and draw with you for a yonks. But unfortunately, yonks is just not the amount of yonk that I have, <laughs> that I have at the moment. Excuse me, Simon, how much yonk do you have today? Well, I think about three. I've got about three yonk. Um, but usually there's about 500 yonk in a day. And uh, it's weird because time seems to be slowing down. Like you think, wow, this, it, you know, somebody reminds you of something that happened and you're like, oh, that was weeks and weeks ago and it was yesterday. And then somebody else says, um, you know, what, what what did you do on the weekend? You're like, oh, I don't remember. And they're like, it was yesterday. <laughs> anyway, but now, uh, not only is, is, is time retrospectively seeming yonks and yonks and yonks, I seem to be running out of time in the day and it takes such a long time. And then I get to the end of the day, I'm like, well, I haven't done the things that I needed to be able to do to make the money. Speaking of making money, go to www.envelopeofawesome.com to get your, hold on, wait a minute, wait, to get your, but not this cup because we don't sell them because we can't. <laughs> We'd have to spend 50 bucks on them. You'd have to spend 50 bucks on a cup. God, that's such blurry face. Anyway, um, go to www.envelopeofawesome.com to get your creative pack for your creative kids in your life. But it's Sunday, it's fine, it's okay. But anyway, what are you grateful for? Do you know what I'm grateful for? Being able to draw dragons, because they're just cute and amazing, and they can look however you want. So I'm very grateful for dragons, even though they're not real. Are they? <clears throat> no, <laughs> maybe. I've never seen, have you seen a salamander angry, an angry salamander? <laughs> if you get me some lighter fluid, lighter fluid, an angry salamander and 14 um, Icelandic people. No, uh, was that an Icelandic accent? I don't know. Get me an angry salamander and some lighter fluid and I'll show you what a dragon looks like. That's not true. Be nice to animals, especially salamanders because they've got their, their first name 
in their name as well. Like Stuart. <laughs> I was trying to think of another animal that has a name in it. Sal Amanda, Salamander, right? Sal Amanda. What about, is there a baboon? No, monkey, no. Um, cat, feline, a dog, wolf. Oh my God, I, I don't know. That's very weird. How bizarre. There's cat, there's, I'm grateful for my brain, but sometimes it just doesn't offer up any interesting ideas. Um, so salamander, what other mander? There's Jessica. <laughs> Jess is not a name of an animal. Jessica, Susan, Karen, Michael. I'm very, very grateful for my wife, Cassandra, and everything that she does. And I wish her all the best, but she won't be watching this, so she won't know. But if you see her, tell her for me. That would be great. <sighs> okay, so I think we've done it. I think he's going to be blue because that was the color on the thing. Did it? Ooh, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Got to press it without moving the mouse thing. There we go. Oh, he's blue. Oh, I did it the wrong layout. We need another layer. Don't be silly, Simon. There we go. All right. So I think that blue is a little bit too dark because I'm good with the hues. I'm in the wrong layer. Hold on. Uh, we need that button there. Aha. Perfect. Oh, he kind of looks a bit strange, doesn't he? He kind of looks a bit blue. No, we can make it work. We can make it work. Okay, so his eyes will make it ever so slightly yellow, but not, not look crazy. Not like he has a jaundice or anything. Just a little bit. We'll go back into the, the lines there. Do that. Now, if any of you out there aren't colorblind, you might be like, what is he doing? So his tongue's gonna be a lighter blue, but maybe we'll push it into the purple because I can't see those colors very easily. What's this, contract? No. Why did that happen? I must have pressed a different button. There we go. Okay, so he needs a darker blue. I found that when you're coloring things in, it's always important not to just, remember, it's Sunday. You do whatever you want, but not to use too many colors all at once because, if you use too many colors, then your brain gets overloaded with um, having to choose all of those colors. And then, you know, I have, that's not fun for anyone. Here's Mr. Squiggle, sing a happy tune. So let's, let's do this one here. Perfection, absolutely marvelous. I don't know if you can hear the bunny trying to get out of the, the gate that we have. They're very cute. They think they can open the, the gate by rattling it, <laughs> which they might be able to, but they haven't succeeded yet. But they're very, um, you know, what do you call that? Determined, like someone else I know. <laughs> That's me. Um, right, I think his eyes make him look sick. I think that's better. Let's give him just a little bit of yellowiness in the top there. That, yeah, I think that's a bit better. <laughs> He's really cute. <laughs> that's pink. Is this pink? Didn't I make that purple? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go here and here. By the way, Sunday is the best day because then you don't have to do any editing. And it's wonderful. Not that you have time to do the editing, but it just it's another excuse not to do the editing. Also, um, let's try a numeric value of, no, whoa, guys, what are you doing? You pay attention, don't get distracted, 18. There we go. Okay, we'll give them a little bit of those. There we go. Oh, my family's back. Oh no. Okay, we need to save that um, uh, somehow. Oh dear, we'll save it and we'll, we'll have to finish it next week. We're gonna call it untitled. But now it's time for more exit molding. They're coming! Be kind, be curious, and stay awesome. And thank you so much for breathing.